Here, we finally have the Xenomorph from Alien 3, which goes by a billion different names. The inmates in the movie calls it the dragon or the beast, but it usually goes by the runner or the dog alien. This Xenomorph is probably my favorite design from the entire Alien franchise. The most iconic one is obviously the big chap, which I actually unboxed just a couple weeks ago, uh, yeah, so this is the original H.R. Giger design, most iconic one. But here is the dog alien, and here I have them too in size comparison. So normally, you wouldn't be displaying the alien dog like this because the alien dog does not stand up on its two legs. So I'll change the pose here, but the big chap walks around and the two legs but let's get this guy out of here all right so here is a closer look at the alien dog or the beast the runner the dragon so in my opinion i did not like the movie i didn't like the characters i didn't like the plot i didn't like the story also i hated the cgi but this xenomorph design is, is probably my favorite it's I absolutely love this design and when I saw this I absolutely had to get this and it's just just a bit under $40 and for all these accessories this is absolutely worth it so it has um it has very similar features to the big chap you know we got the rib cage we got the arms are a bit longer so we have a joint here a joint here a joint here and I don't think there's a joint here I think you can turn this around. Yeah, but that's not a, really a joint. Same thing on the other leg. And here we have a joint here so you can move that arm like that. It's also a joint here. And of course you can move around it, um, its hands. Same thing for the other side. And we got the rib cage, the torso. That is also movable just like that. And we got its tail and, um, yeah, we get a rotation here. And this tail is super, super long. I don't know if you can really see it that well in size comparison on camera. But in person, this tail is super long. And it's going to look really good on all fours. Moving on to the upper body. Amazing job done by NECA. NECA is so impressive. Because, like, just for under a bit under 50 or 40 bucks, you get all these accessories and you get this beautiful paint job and beautiful sculpt. The sculpt is what blew me away with the big chap. So, you get this similar rib cage design all the way into the back. Now, the super cool thing about this xenomorph is that it is a lot less biomechanical than the big chap because. It, it was a uh, because it came out of a dog, so obviously it, it has a lot more doggish features, and that also meant no dorsal fins actually. So you get these scapulas over here in the back, these two of them. All right, now moving on to the head, the head sculpt, like always with their xenomorph designs, NECA did a beautiful job. This is my favorite head sculpt um, out of all xenomorph designs. And it's a translucent dome, so inside you can see this, this skull-like thing. As it goes down, it, uh, it gradiates to a bit dark, so it's almost black here in the front. And when you go back, there's also that black hue over there. And on the side, there's a lot of sculpting, a lot of painting and detail going on. Very, very beautiful. And the neck, the neck can go up a lot on this one. Super, super impressive because if you're gonna have it on all fours, 
then it better be looking up. Finally, the mouth, which is my favorite part of any NECA's, or just Xenomorph designs in general, is you get the inner jaw. Like always, if you open it up, there it is. This comes out. It's not as long as the big jab. Wow, it's beautiful. You just put it back in and close the, close the mouth like that. You get the, that detail down the arms. And you get all that, um, you get some kind of biomechanical feeling over here. Those tubes, wires, things running down. And other than that, it's, it looks really organic. And the hands, the hands are at some kind of a, a pose. It's not just stretched out or balled up like a fist. Pretty interesting choice. All right, so that is your look at the Xenomorph. The first thing we have over here is the Queen Chestburster, which appears at the very end when Ripley sacrifices herself. She bursts out of her chest at the last second. There it is. It's very similar to the original Chestburster, but the Queen, obviously, you can tell. A little spike at the end. It's like the crown, if you haven't seen Alien. And there doesn't seem to be any bendy wire, just some really flexible plastic. Cool thing about the other Zeno, I mean the other chest burster, we got bendy wires, but it looks it looks fine actually. You know the curve. It's pretty cool. The next thing we get over here is this is probably the most interesting thing out of the box because this is actually the logo for the movie. So it's super cool that they included this. This just looks really, really nice. Got that black um, slash green neonness. Just like curls all the way upward like that. Yeah, so these are both the queen. As you can see, similar head design. This one's just curled upward and it's green. And you get this, um, you get this base here. Super, super nice. It looks beautiful. And that is actually the logo on the box. Over here. That's why it's all, you know, green and black. It resembles the logo. That's super, super cool, not gonna lie. And, really cool thing that we get in the Ultimate Edition is, in this particular Ultimate Edition, I mean, we got a stand for the Alien Doggo. Because, well, I don't think I'll probably be using the stand, but it's still pretty cool. All right, so it took me a few tries to get it into this pose, but that looks really epic. So here I have him on all fours, and the limbs are, you know, the double jointed. It, 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 it looks beautiful. Just come on. To those of you who are watching this right now, it's beautiful. Come on. Come on. Say it. Say it. It's beautiful. Honestly, I'm speechless. Mecca, you did such a fabulous, fabulous job on this one. So yeah, I have it on all fours. Make it look like him running. And that those fingers makes it actually look super cool. You know, it, it really looks like it's, it's, it's grabbing onto the floor and running. And this tail, oh my god, it's beautiful. And the, the, the neck, I think I can expand it a bit more. Like this, I'm not sure. But still, super, super cool. And here... Yeah, so this guy is basically a dog. So I think I should give you guys a little 360 view on this guy. Here you have him on the top. Like that. Here you have it. Get some detail back there on that leg. 
I got some detail over there too. Honestly, I really like this paint job. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get this because the paint job you know, just looks brown and green and black. Kind of boring color scheme, but seeing it in person, it looks really, really good. There it is. The tail, this, this part is a super loose rubber material. Yeah, it feels like rubber, not plastic. And I, I have a light over here. So super cool, you can see that translucency. Here's a bit more detail on the... A lot of sculpting going on. Gosh, beautiful. Honestly, I am so, so satisfied with what I got. And here's the dog alien and the big chap in comparison. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely, this one has a lot um, brownish uh, hue to it. Beautiful paint job. Yeah, and the head sculpt is phenomenally different here. I don't know if you can notice it or not, but such an alien nerd I am to notice the big difference between the two. Anyways, that is the end of today's video. The link of this guy is in the description down below. I'll also put the link of this guy in the description too. And there's a link of this guy's unboxing video in the description down below. So there it is again. The alien dog. Super, super cool. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please consider subscribing if you're new here. Please drop a like and comment down below. Which one do you like better? The big chap? Or the alien dog. Again, thank you for watching. Goodbye.